Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemon Development and welcome to our weekly tutorials. And this week I'll be showing you how to create a view based application using Xcode 4.2. Now the reason I'm doing this is because most of you are finding it hard to follow the tutorials which I do set the majority in a view based application and when you're creating a application on Xcode 4.2 many of you are not quite getting or understanding and creating it with a storyboard which you are finding it really hard to obviously follow the tutorials. So I'm going to be showing you how to create a view based application just so you can keep up to date and up to speed and understand a little more of my tutorials and also for some of you creating a view based application is the easiest way to build an app. So in Xcode when you go to file and new project All you simply have to do is if you click on single view application and go next and when you create it, so if I name this one simply project one and we have the storyboard, use storyboard clicked. So when we go next and we create that project, we have a storyboard but no interface builder, no .xib. So if you go to file and then new and then project again. It's really simple to do but some of you are missing out this step. Again we go to single view application which is more or less the view based application on previous X codes. And we go next. So if I name this one project 2. And this time we take off storyboard and go next. And just simply create that. We now have our interface builder. Now the difference is this in this view based application as the previous ones, when you type that your name, so in this tutorial here I've done named it project 2, in the previous version of Xcode it would have been project 2 view controller dot h and dot m. So now when you write out all your, thing, all your actions you do it in the dot h and you have to do the curly bracket and press enter to get the two brackets for when you're creating your outlets and actions and then all the code for those actions and outlets go in your .m and then like all before in your interface builder is where you place all your objects and link up all your actions to create the interface. So that's simply how you do it. Some people get a little bit confused so I just thought I might clear up the matter. But an important announcement, next week will be the tutorial where I show you how to use storyboards and build an application around using storyboards. So I hope this tutorial clears up any problems with you guys creating view based applications and I hope you find next week's tutorial really helpful on creating storyboards. So make sure you like, favourite and thumbs up the video. If you haven't make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next week in our next tutorial. Hey guys Aaron here. Please support us by liking us on Facebook, following us on Twitter and checking out all our apps by simply searching Geeky Lemon on the App Store. And make sure you visit our website where we have a full list and full source code for all our tutorials. And visit our blog, forums and all the other great features we have to offer on our website.